Normally, when we bring an object into co-spaces, it stays exactly where we put it. That's why when I press play, the rhinoceros just stays up there in the air. This wouldn't happen in real life. In real life, it would fall down onto the lion. To make things work like they do in real life, we have to enable something called physics. To do this, right click or double tap on the object, click on physics, and then click the, this button to enable it. Now when I press play, the rhinoceros falls down onto the lion. In fact, it falls through the lion. To have the rhinoceros and the lion interact, we also need to enable physics for the lion. Now when the rhino falls down, it interacts with the lion. But you'll see that there's a white outline, a box around this lion and around the rhinoceros. This is called the bounding box. Now, at the moment, when that rhinoceros falls, it's interacting with the bounding box around that lion. To turn that bounding box off and have the rhinoceros interact with the lion normally, we need to disable, uh, we need to enable precise collision on both these objects. Now, when I press play, we get a much more realistic interaction or a much more detailed interaction. Now let's have a look at some of the other options in physics. We have set static. This enables an object to stay in one place yet still interact with physics. So if I want to protect the lion, I can right click on this plank that I've created, turn on set static, press play, and our lion is protected from the rhinoceros. Other things we can change in physics are the weight in kgs of the rhinoceros and the bounciness and the amount of friction. Now we have a very bouncy rhinoceros. We can even use physics in co-blocks. For example, in physics, I can push this line to the left with velocity 10. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm, not that great. You can also do other things, such as setting things to slow-mo. We can change the physics speed, make everything slow down. We can also change gravity. We can set the gravity pull to something less than it would normally be in real life. For example, we could set gravity to be zero or zero G, which is what would happen if you were in space. And that's how you use physics in CoSpaces EDU.